Hello everybody, this video I want to show you uh, my experience with the Quest 3 regarding the color pass-through, mixed reality. So basically moving from Quest 2 to Quest 3, there's no doubt this is a big difference, just having colors is a huge difference. And also again the pass-through is also much much sharper, but is it any good? Is there some problems? Well, let's talk about it here. So first of all, when I'm actually looking, uh, using it, I can definitely see uh, some kind of noise basically i'm in a well-lit room and again maybe again if i'm going to use it in a much brighter room maybe it would be less visible which i expect again the lens is in a certain aperture and there are some noise uh, so again might be uh, but nonetheless again this is a room well-lit room that i expect to play everything higher than that i probably won't use it's well-lit room and i'm quite disappointed to see that there are lots of noise uh, in the image, no, but you can miss it, it's all over the place. Uh, so you don't expect a super sharp image. Uh, but again, I haven't tested in a much brighter environment or outdoors. But again, when you're using indoors in a relatively well lit room, I do expect it to be good. And the lens fits, uh, let's say, an average room, well lit room. So you're going to see noise, uh, pretty certain of it. The other thing which is pretty annoying is this bubbly effect when you use use your hands. Look at my hands, you see the lines there? Everything just kind of a cramp together uh, when uh, when the hands yeah, is located. So it causes kind of a bubbly distortion, uh, which is very, very annoying. It shouldn't be there. It's not breaking, by the way, the experience for me when I play the games. I haven't noticed that, but I didn't pay attention probably. But you can see that when you do move your hands, it's kind of a create distortions. This is something that definitely should be improved and hopefully be improved in future uh, software updates because again, this is, uh, I don't know the reason by the way, uh, but this is something that my when I first tried it, I said, what is that? So yeah, this is something that you don't want to see. And again, this is not due to the recording. Again, when I just wear the headset and move my hands, I see that. So yeah, so this is definitely something that can, again, sometimes it's more visible sometimes less but again if you pay attention to it you can actually miss it see it's kind of a bubbly like i'm moving, moving things my room with my fingers yeah so this is uh, one negative thing the other thing is uh, screen sharpness it does is is sharper compared to the quest 2 however let's say it like that when it comes to usually see it when there are fine tags for example you can easily see it when I'm further away from the text, uh, I can see it more clearly. When I'm closer, of course, I can see it less. The reason for that is because things will get uh, larger. And basically, uh, you notice it usually in ages, you know, kind of, a, it feels like kind of anti-aliasing aliasing effect. So when you get close to it, the bigger it gets, it's less visible, especially again, talking about text. But in general, if you do, you're, gonna, you're gonna see pixels. And it kind of, uh, it's similar to putting a 24 inch 1080p uh, relatively close to yourself. Uh, this is more or less how it's going to be visible. So it is visible, uh, not distracting, not ruining the experience, but basically not the super sharp, uh, something that we probably going to get when you have the uh, Apple Vision Pro. So this is again, this is not the holy grail, of, but uh, again, an improvement over the Quest 2. And that's about it. Again, so don't expect Mixed Reality to be, uh, again, in terms of visuals, to be top notch. It's not. Basically, it's not. But uh, it's much, much better compared to the Quest 2. Way, way better. Color pass through, sharper, and basically just enables Mixed Reality, especially with all the other complementary technologies, including depth scanning, to give you an amazing, amazing experience in Mixed Reality. Thanks for watching.